Okay, and I think I did something similar with the Kathy videos, but I can't remember, so I'll just do these again. The next thing is what's called a rest stroke, and I'm making the G chord again. And in the case of a rest stroke, you play through the string, and you're pretty much using the weight of your hand, okay? The pick goes through the string, and it rests on the next string. Let's get a little closer on that, okay? So I'm playing the sixth string, and the pick comes to rest on the fifth string. Let's see if we can get that, okay? Now you can um, use this in rhythm. You can play rest stroke. I'm playing the, in uh, the G, so. And then when you get to the uh, fifth string, just go down. So the, okay, does that make sense? So there's no upward motion at all. And this is also good uh, to emphasize in lead, for example, if you're doing a rest stroke. There's two rest strokes. Okay. But we're talking about rhythm right now. And uh, the other thing that some people will do on that downbeat, because remember we're doing uh, six string strum. Okay. That is one measure. And if you can get your measures, each one to be powerful, then the net result is that the, the song is in time and is powerful, okay? So many, the first beat or the first downbeat is the most important. So a couple ways to emphasize that, and I'll move back here are you can, in some cases, you will play. And that's probably the, the uh, six, five, four. You hear that? Now the idea is to get this smooth. You hear that? And if you want to play it harder, go closer to the bridge. Generally, what you'd be doing is you might be playing a rhythm go. You may do it at the first uh, beat of a song or somebody's starting to uh, get out of time and you need some extra pressure, so you might go. The other thing sometimes you'll do is think of, once again, the downbeat as the sixth string and the fourth, okay? So in some cases, instead of going, okay, there's no strum here, you'll go, okay? So you just strum for that first one, and then you'll strum down for the second. Up. Now I may be getting some distortion in my guitar. All right, so that's that technique uh, and uh, let me just play a little bit of rhythm in G and you can see what's going on here so case we do a downstroke, no strum. That's it. Actually in this case we're doing a uh, uh, stroke. So you're doing down, strum, Now, if you're taking the course at John C. Campbell, I've already gone over this, so this video will uh, hopefully reinforce what we talked about, but if you're watching it, this for the first time, uh, it may not uh, be quite as clear. 